Well, let's start with our general overview, as you said, comparing the Sagrera to the Carmen and the Carmen Boulogne. Well, this car has more of a presence. And this is especially due to the new aerodynamics. We've further accentuated the sporting nature of the car. It's still a very lightweight hypercar, thanks especially to the carbon fiber shield and monocoque chassis, making it lighter. And we've doubled down to make the batteries even lighter, just like its predecessors. There are three driving modes, eco, comfort, and sport. And it's the sport mode where we'll truly see the true colors of the Sagrera, which was made for the racetrack arise. Now we've heard about constant evolution, day in and day out. And I know one area where there's been major work is in the batteries. Well, yes, we've got our second generation batteries here. We've gone from 80 to 103 kilowatt hours, decreasing the weight by 25 kilograms. It wasn't easy, and we're truly proud of these changes. The battery also has smaller motor controllers, thereby decreasing weight by a further 15 kilograms. And so we're talking about 40 kilograms less in weight. And we built all of this technology in Molo on our premises, and we're truly proud of this. Now, as for range, we've got an extra 100 kilometers in range. So this would be about 480 kilometers, a truly noteworthy range. And when you have such range and such acceleration, these gems, they're, they're not cars, they're something else. They're, they're, there's something that really stands out. We've heard about it over the course of the day, and that's the braking system. You also took it up a notch there, right? Yes. As I said, the Sagrera is made for the racetrack, so braking is essential. That's why we double down to improve the braking system. We have new monoblock calipers, which are made of a stronger material. We have new brake discs that are 400 millimeters in diameter, and we have a new pedal system, which is firmer, stiffer. Furthermore, we've improved the brake feel with the monoblock calipers, and we've also decreased the weight of each of the four calipers by another 500 grams. So you can see shaving off a little bit of weight a little here and there. Well, yes, and with Francesc, we were talking about the spoiler. Tell us a little bit about the impact on aerodynamics. Well, yes, that's the last thing I wanted to point out. This aerodynamic, eye-catching spoiler made just for this car. Francesc said it was gorgeous, but it's not just about beauty. It also boosts aerodynamics and efficiency, especially when cornering, which is where you tend to lose seconds. We've increased downforce and grip, and we also worked hard with our simulations department because it can't just be about beauty. You also have to improve performance, and we're truly pleased with the outcome. So this all comes together to represent a significant leap forward in our technology. And of course, everything that has been rolled out here for the Carmen Sagrera can also be applied to the Carmen and Carmen Boulogne.